that astronomy is actually the first uh, branch of science studied. Started approximately about 2,000 years ago. The Thai National Observatory, located close to the summit of Doi Intanon, that's the largest uh, telescope in Southeast Asia by far. Thai National Observ Observatory, it has kicked off astronomy in Southeast Asia as a whole. Welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yota Asmut. Modern astronomy came to Thailand more than 300 years ago with the arrival of the Roman Catholic missionaries. The first astronomical observatory was built in 1685. During the last few decades, Thailand has seen a significant change in the way astronomical research and education is pursued in the country as the government has realized the important roles that basic science plays in shaping up a knowledge-based society. In 2004, the government approved the establishment of the National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand, or rather to call in short, NARI, under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Thailand Today is pleased to welcome Dr. Saran Prosiyatinda, Deputy Director of the National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand, NARI, about modern astronomy in Thailand and how astronomy keeps us shoulders to shoulders with the international communities. Please welcome Dr. Saran Prosyatinda, Deputy Director, National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand, or call it in short, NARIT. So, Swadika. Welcome to Thailand today, sir. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about a very important topic, which is very interesting, but less people know about it. This is about astrological. Astronomical. Astronomical. So uh, this is a this is a palm reading as well. <laughs> yes. already. So uh, astronomical is uh, what I, in Thailand? How do we need it? Do we really need to have it? Well, first of all, I would like to remind you that astronomy is actually the first uh, branch of science studied. Uh, started approximately about two thousand years ago wow, uh, yes. during the uh, height of the. Uh, Greek uh, culture. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, there's, there have been development uh, in astronomy a lot, uh, especially after uh, the invention of telescope mm -hmm. uh, by Galileo. He mm -hmm. was the first one to point telescope upward to mm -hmm. the sky mm -hmm. and uh, learning that uh, the mm -hmm. Earth wasn't the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. Well, astronomy, you know, is the study of uh, the size of the universe. Mm. It is so mm -hmm. important because we live in a small world, which is a small planet, mm -hmm. uh, an ordinary planet uh, that belongs to uh, the solar system, mm -hmm. the only solar system that we know very well. Mm -hmm. Even though nowadays we have found uh, thousands of exoplanets, planets outside of the solar system mm -hmm. so, uh, orbiting other stars mm. in, in the universe. So the knowing about size of the Earth alone isn't enough for us mm. because what's going on here uh, closely related to what's going on outside of the Earth. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why the, uh, the study of astronomy mm -hmm. is so important to us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, this kind of thing, because sky is so broad and we just cannot I, I, as, as a layman, do not know much about this, but we are standing in, uh, in, in Thailand and we look up and say it's vast enough of the, the sky. But actually, internationally, that we need to cooperate with them also because it's the bigger one. Yes. But there's a place called in Chile. There's a, can, can you tell us about that place? Well, uh, uh, Chile happens to be a uh, uh, heaven for uh, modern astronomy mm -hmm. because in certain parts of Chile, the deserts, uh, uh -huh. the, uh, uh, some of the deserts, there's never been any rainfall for decades, for example. Okay. So the sky is always clear and uh, no clouds covered, less humidity. So it's a heaven for 
modern astronomy. Okay. That's why most of the large telescopes now are located in Chile. Mm. But it's not only Chile. Yeah. There, Where else? there are some other places, including Thailand, Thailand? as well. Yeah, uh, that's, I was about to ask about Thailand, yes. Yes, we have the highest mountain, uh, which is Doi Intanon. Everyone uh, yeah. know about Doi, knows about Doi Intanon in Chiang Mai. Yes. Uh, the, the summit of Doi Intanon is actually 2,565 meters above the sea level. Okay. Uh, Narit has got a uh, what we call the Thai National Observatory, located close to the summit of Doi Intanon at 2,450 meters above the sea level. Uh, yeah. And if you don't know yet, that's the largest uh, telescope in Southeast Asia by uh, far. Uh, so, so that means, um, you said not, all, not only in that place, but in Thailand. And, uh, so it's a kind of joining, it's a kind of a cooperation to all of yes. the whole world? Yes, we work closely with international agencies like uh, observatories of Japan, Korea, China, mm -hmm. some universities in the US and in Europe. Because astronomy happens to be the field that we need to collaborate. Mm -hmm. No single organization can work well in this field of science. With alone? Yes. Yeah, we need Haro, can you tell us about the importance and the needs of in the Thailand, for Thailand to have a adequate infrastructure in astronomy? Well, in the old days, uh, before the establishment of NARIT, mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't enough facility uh, mm -hmm. to serve Thai astronomers. You probably think that uh, astronomy not closely related in to, to everyday life, but in fact, th it you is. know, mm -hmm. it is closely related. For example, uh, the study of uh, astronomy can tell us uh, what kind of climate the Earth uh, will have in the near f in, in the next few decades. For example, uh, whether there will be threat from the outside, like an asteroid or comet hitting the Earth. Mm -hmm similar to what happened uh, 65 million years ago uh, at the extinction of the dinosaurs and other species on Earth and lots of other things. And also, you know, by doing difficult problems, by solving difficult problems and doing research in, in astronomy and mm. space science, for example, mm. uh, can lead to the development of mm. high te technological mm. instruments. For example, mm. the uh, digital cameras that we use nowadays actually the result of development in astronomy is a few so. decades ago. Oh, that much. Mm. And also, uh, another example is Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, radio astronomers uh, several decades ago had to invent uh, uh, some device that get rid of uh, noise mm. that interferes with radio waves. Mm. And that resulted in the development of Wi-Fi mm. or wireless uh, internet or wireless land that we use nowadays. Mm. So, in, do, in having the NARI to do this, do you need to have in terms of qualified personnel in the human development for this for the future? Yeah, I, I must admit that at mm. the establishment of NARI seven years ago, we didn't have enough uh, personnel. But mm. since then, we've been sending students to do uh, uh, up to PhD mm. degrees abroad at, at several countries. And at the same time, we're trying to train our people to, to serve uh, what the public needs a lot uh, right now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, uh, you know, see some children, young mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. gathering around a telescope, uh, gazing the sky at night, especially when looking at planets like Saturn and Jupiter, uh -huh. you see that they're eager to learn yeah. a lot and fascinating pictures of the, the uh, astronomical objects always uh, very attract attractive among mm. the young generations. Yeah, because it's something which is you, uh, unbelievable, to, unbelievable to see something high up that much and, you know, when you're on the ground. Yes. Uh, that's the thing. So what is the development to this minute? What is the development level of the astronomy in Thailand? I think right now the development of astronomy here is going pretty fast mm -hmm. and this is well recognized. This has been recognized by uh, international organizations mm -hmm. that we uh, put a lot of effort and, and emphasis on developing astronomy in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And recently we've, uh, we've been, uh, we, have, we, we have got, uh, we've been assigned a task by the, the International Astronomical Union or the IAU mm -hmm. to become 
the Southeast Asia Regional Office for Astronomy Deve Development. Oh, yeah. wow. And NARIT uh, now has to work uh, to serve not only Thailand, but also other countries in the ASEAN regions as well. And recently, UNESCO also uh, assigned us to be the International Training Center for Astronomy. Wow. And that's the first of that's its kind good. under the auspices of UNESCO. Mm -hmm. uh, so NARIT will have to work more closely mm -hmm. with other countries, not only the developed countries, but also the, the developing world as well. What kind of uh, working together, what kind of cooperation we going to have, especially ASEAN countries? Well, we, we have to provide them uh, with a support. For example, training mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. researchers, mm -hmm and let uh, schools come to mm -hmm. uh, do activities <coughs> ranging from stargazing camp mm -hmm. up to uh, summer school or winter school in astronomy, mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. Well, the, it is something like, um, like a rocket science that we, we, we learned about it. But uh, so it was an astronomer. What does this mean in, to, to make a public awareness? Actually, it's a lot easier than you would have thought yeah. uh, doing uh, or creating public awareness in astronomy mm. because, mm. like I said earlier, that uh, beautiful uh, pictures of, of astronomical objects always fascinate people. Mm. Uh, but the fact that Thailand still lack uh, certain infrastructure nationally, mm. 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 Uh, right now we have NARIT, we have mm. a few uh, places for young generations to come to do stargazing. Mm. We have to reach out mm. as much as possible mm. to people mm. that mm. need uh, <coughs> service in, in, in uh, what we call public outreach. And this is what we've been doing a lot so far. And if mm. you notice in the year 2015, mm. so far, out of the 10 uh, most popular or uh, best known uh, science news in Thailand, six out of 10 uh, astronomy related news. And number one news, actually the event on the 7th of September uh, when uh, a very big fireball, oh yes. yeah, you're flying across the sky in Thailand mm -hmm. and there's a possible uh, meteorite fall in mm -hmm. Kanchanaburi that we're still looking for it. Yeah. So, um, before you talk about the fireball, maybe to, to some other country do not have experienced that. Can you tell more about this? But you are looking, you are saying that we are f looking for what is fell out. Yeah, there's a possible that the, there have been a meteorite fall in ah, Thailand uh, yeah. during that event. And this is very rare. If you take into account uh, the, the object that is considered to be around 66 ton. Uh, mm. object uh, hitting the earth around at uh, more than 20 times the speed of sound. Really? That's quite powerful. Uh, uh. Even though it didn't hit the ground, it uh. exploded in mid-air and the, there might have been numerous uh, pieces of meteorites uh. on the ground that we still have to search for. This is something interesting because uh, studying meteorites can tell you a lot about uh, the ancient times of, of the solar system, the beginning of the solar system. They are like uh, relics of the past, mm. uh, kept uh, frozen in, 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 in space for more than four, four billion years. Mm. I've noticed when you talk about this, about the solar, about the stars, and your eyes beaming, and you must be very much interesting uh, oh, yes, before yes. when you were young itself. Yes, I've spent more than 40 years mm -hmm. yeah, doing star, stargazing, and, mm. and I still long for more. Uh, I could see that, I could see that. Well, so, so uh, well, it has been, the, have been long standing argument uh, for a, this is a kind of a astronomy is a distant subject. So what is your opinion? It's not distant anymore. Mm. I think it's much closer than you would have thought. Didn't it come now already? <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, not only that, but also, you know, the, 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 like I told you earlier, that the mm. development of, of uh, uh, instruments and mm. technology used mm. in astronomy is very important. Mm. For example, the optical industry has benefited uh, directly from the development of, of astronomy. And nowadays, you see mm. that 
uh, inside a mobile phone, for example, mm -hmm. there are hundreds of patterns uh, related to optics or optical mm -hmm. science. Yes. Uh, well, by doing research in astronomy, mm -hmm. we we have to be able to raise the capability of our staff, not only astronomers, but also engineers, mm -hmm. technicians, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people doing research in related fields to be capable mm -hmm. of supporting the, mm -hmm. uh, astronomers to do research. Mm -hmm. And that helps a lot. And in the future, I'm, I'm sure that, I'm very certain that uh, there'll be spin-offs from mm -hmm. uh, what we've been doing. Mm. We need to because since you know, maybe after tomorrow, a few days, we could have uh, ASEAN joining together. So this must be very helpful when you have to any discussion or any kind of uh, progressive on the ASEAN side apart from Thailand? Yes, I think uh, by setting up this uh, Thai National Observ Observatory, mm -hmm. it has kicked off astronomy in mm. Southeast Asia as a whole. Uh, I've been told that right now Indonesia has even a more ambitious project, setting up uh, a larger te telescope than what we have here mm. in Indonesia. Yes. They, yeah. and it has become national agenda mm. to, it's not a race, but I think it's kind of a collaboration mm. uh, among, among the ASEAN countries. Uh, some small, smaller states like Singapore, probably mm. difficult mm. for them to, to develop because they haven't got a good site. But other countries like Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, even Vietnam, I think they, they're now looking at astronomy as a, a way or a tool to inspire their younger generations. Mm -hmm. To set up one of it, what do you need? A clear sky? Yeah, you need a good sight, first a of good, all. A good sight of all. And, uh, so what kind of? It should be what, blue sky? Well, you need uh, a longer period uh, that you can observe, a long period of time that you okay. can observe. For example, on Doyentanon, we have up to seven and a half months a year when the sky is always clear, uh, oh. especially during uh, winter and summer. Okay. But during the rainy season, it's not usable at all because okay. of the uh, he uh, clouds that cover most of the time. You need a uh, site high enough to escape from mm, the, the lower part of the atmosphere okay. because the atmosphere is the obstacle mm. uh, that at, uh, uh, absorbs uh, light mm. from distant objects. Mm. So you need uh, a site that is quite high above, above, above the, the, the sea, sea level, level. Mm. as high as possible. Mm. But if it's too high, then it's difficult for people to work. Uh, so we have to have to people to standing by to work on that or what? Yes, so site selection is quite important. Oh. And I understand that the Indonesians right now are selecting site and doing survey of uh, possibilities, setting up their yeah. telescope too. This might be not in our topic, but I really love to know about fundauto, what you call in English, I don't know what. what meteor shower. What is that actually? What is the formation of what? Well, meteor showers are uh, uh, remnants of uh, comets. Mm. They, you know, when, when, when a comet uh, gets into the inner side of the solar system, mm -hmm. it is heated up and uh, a lot of dust and gases mm. uh, ejected uh, from the comet, left behind along the path or the orbit mm -hmm. of, of, of that comet. Whenever the Earth passes into the stream of mm -hmm. dust mm -hmm. particles, uh, the dust particles enter our atmosphere mm -hmm. and become uh, bright meteors. Mm. So uh, interesting. Yeah, and especially uh, during uh, December, every, every December on the ninth, of, on the ninth of the thirteenth or fourteenth of December, mm. there's this very famous uh, meteor shower called the Gemini's meteor shower. Mm. And that happened when, when, when the sky in most of the country in Thailand, yeah. I mean in Thailand, very, very clear. Uh, last time we saw uh, up to 500 meteors per hour yeah. on Doi yeah. because Doi is very high above the ground. But on the sea level, you probably can see at most about 120. It's something very really unique because it's yearly. It comes every year. Yeah, they, because they uh, that's, yeah. that's the time uh, that, you know, when, when the Earth passes into uh, uh, the the orbit of of yeah along the yeah there's a stream of dust along the orbit of of uh, that that object yes. Uh, 
Well, talking about astronomical astronomy is something unique and something we cannot reach out of it. So, we, if people want to watch this, we want to encourage our children to be more interesting in this. This may lead to other part m mindset of one kind. Do you think so? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah because uh, as I mentioned, that astronomy always create inspiration mm. among among uh, young younger people and this helps attract people to mm -hmm. science and engineering mm -hmm. uh, a lot of other countries uh, do, doing the same thing you know mm -hmm. by by uh, introducing astronomy to mm -hmm. children at a younger age mm -hmm. uh, the, the the children can be attracted to mm -hmm. science in general yes. they don't have to become astronomers uh, yes. but in the end, they'll, they'll, some of them, a lot of them will become uh, scientists and engineers. Yeah. So we'll, don't you think that our country need more scientists than definitely, artists? Definitely. Definitely. Than we, artists. We need to rely on science and engineering to develop uh, Thailand as a whole. Yeah. You as a person, and now you are the director, as a di deputy, deputy director, director. Deputy director. I mean, quite high than positioning in this. So, so can, what kind of suggestion? Do you want to give to the to the student and younger generation for this? I think this is a good time uh, for younger generations to be able to uh, get into uh, astronomy. I, I don't expect a lot of people to become mm. astronomers <laughs> or <laughs> astrophysicists in the future. Uh, uh, but if they're introduced to uh, stargazing, for example, uh, looking at planet Saturn through a small telescope uh, uh, at that school, uh, Who knows what's going to be in the future? Because yeah, yeah. they, you know, that is always my blocking. Uh, you know, seeing seeing uh, astronomical objects through a small telescope. I myself uh, happen to be one of those. Yeah, uh, that's what I want to hear. That long long time ago, uh -huh. when I first saw uh, Saturn through a small telescope, uh -huh. and since then I've become attracted to astronomy. Uh, uh, quite. Uh, well. I should say I'm, 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 I'm a mad astronomer. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> well, t very interesting topic we talked today, and uh, we do hope that uh, the Thai people and the Thai children will take the opportunity to learn more about this. But uh, if they're really interested, what, where, how do they reach? How do they? Can you tell to the audience for that? Well, uh, na the website, website of, na website website of Narit yeah. is quite easy to to remember. It's worldwideweb dot n a r i t mm. dot o r dot t h and if you get into uh, the the website th there are lots of information on astronomy and news and a lot of articles to read as well there are also electronic books that you can download and most of them are in Thai very fortunate uh, well uh, we have also Facebook which mm. you can link uh, from our website we have an English website also that you, uh, if you need uh, information in English. Yes. Thank you. So our thanks and gratitude to Dr. Saran Bosiachinda, Deputy Director, National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand or Narin. So Dika, thank you very much for being here. Thanks very much. Thailand Today would like to thank um, Dr. Saran Pose Yatinda, a Deputy Director of the National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand, or NARI, who says astronomy is a closer and an important issue to us human than conventional thinking. Whether or not you are a stargazer, the universe and the stars do have an influence over the present and future. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yota. Someone hopes that you will next time. Swadika.